All right, we're gonna start a new Windows Server machine. Call this Windows Server. And we're gonna choose our Windows Server. Uh, Windows Server 2019. Skip on antenna installation. Increase our RAM, increase our CPU for the installation. I want 200 gigabytes. Get that in there. We're gonna go to network and tools. We're gonna create a NAT network. We're gonna enable DHCP. That looks good. Come back here, go settings, go network, go that network here. Um, let's just make sure we turn on our by direction to copy and paste and file over. System looks good. Processor looks good. Display. Okay. Let's go ahead and boot up. Windows opening up. Give away a notification. Choose English. Go install now. And we're going to choose the uh, desktop experience with the whole graphic user interface. The, um, right, we're going to set the terms. Do custom install, 200 gigabytes. Uh, we're going to reformat that, install Windows. And the plan for uh, doing all this is we're going to install a server, Windows Server. We're going to install a Linux, uh, some applications that will be used. Uh, in the background, um, some log, a sim, and then we can do some uh, testing on it as far as compliance. And then once we get that completed, then we can move on to doing some uh, pen testing. Okay, finish uh, installing. You just go to need reboot, and uh, we can finish the setup after it comes back. Uh, there was a screen to hit. Any button to boot from CD. Uh, we don't want to reboot from CD. Uh, we actually want Windows to be installing. So we're gonna go in there, install it, and then we can remove the CD out of out of the system or the ISO. Alright. Username is going to be administrator. administrator. Uh, in this case, you want to create your own password. Hit finish. It's going to finalize the installation. Alrighty. We're going to all control delete where you go to input, keyboard, mouse, all control delete. Type in your password you just created, and it's the first time it's going to create the profile um, and install it. Uh, and it's going to install our uh, operating, um, our user settings. Uh, in this case, uh, ask for your network, just hit no. And to make it bigger and smaller, uh, we're going to have to install we'll minimize this most we'll have to install the guest edition so up here on devices go and install guest edition cd it's gonna 
have a pop-up here to install it. If it doesn't, you can always open your drive. And here's the guest edition right here. It looks like it didn't do anything. So we're gonna go in here and then we're gonna install um, guest edition. We'll hit next. It's gonna install the guest edition on our virtual box here. And this allows you to minimize, maximize, and other features a part of the guest edition. Uh, look up more on VirtualBox and uh, it will explain a little bit more. Uh, now I'm going to have to reboot the system. All right. And we're going to go input keyboard, control, delete. Type in your password you created. And if you make it bigger, it should change after um, this Windows Server opens up, minimizes this. And as you can see, you can make your Windows bigger, smaller, however you like to make it. So, the saying that we have a Windows Server install. Why is it Windows Server? Because we have this Server Manager. So now, just go ahead and shut down. We're going to do unplanned, and we will continue with installing Kali Linux.